بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد أشرف المرسلين وعلى أهله وصحبه وسلم ومن ولا uh, Really I would I'm very glad uh, uh, very grateful for the organization for Dr. Rashid Alim to offer me this opportunity to be one of the speakers and the first speaker uh, in this remarkable event, uh, which I feel that uh, it is a time. It's a time that we have to walk steps towards the future and towards sustainability. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I told Dr. Rashid, I'm going to keep silent. I'm sure that you, you know why. He didn't give me any chance to say anything about sustainability and sustainable development. We learn a lot. From such a passion person, we, le we, we had huge lesson learned. I'm sure everyone in this hall have this, what they call the uh, breath catching moments with the, huh? Exactly, with Dr. Rashid Al Alim. I know him long time, maybe a decade and more than one, and then a decade, 15 years or more than that. Uh, his long journey, if I have to talk, he has to publish another book from an outsider, not from inside the insider. A person who, uh, every single moment of his life, he feels that he has to do something. He has to add something, and he wants to go forward this is the lesson learned which Dr. Rashid learned from the late exile. To be honest, all the people of this country, all we in this country, we learn a lot. And as you will know, how the late exile have, <clears throat> have you know, exceeded more than three, four decades the United Nations when it comes to sustainable development, I will tell you. But I said, I will tell Dr. Rashid, you as a young man with such, mashallah, mashallah, with such a recognition locally, regionally, and internationally. We are very proud having an ambassador with us, a person who deserves whatever you have learned. I think this is only a, a halfway of what Dr. Rashid is willing to go further. I'm not exaggerating, but really, People who are doing something, they have to have their footprint. And Dr. Rashid have his green footprint and sustainable towards the future. With my experience, more than 25 years with United Nations, uh, I joined United Nations immediately after 1992. As Dr. Rashid mentioned, that was the first Rio conference, the UNICID, which was in Rio de Janeiro. And the whole world was to integrate three main pillars, economy, social, and environment. And that's the only way that this planet has to survive. And you will know from the, you know, the presentation that we need another planet, not only this planet, which is totally exhausted, but we need to go further for another planet if the same rate of the deterioration and uh, consumption, and now we have the wars and everything that destroy everything in this planet. Now we have only the energy, water, and, and food we have to maintain. Anyhow, that's what I said. I have to keep silent, and I say, okay, I have to get that down because Dr. Rashid Fahmi have highlighted the most important uh, strategy, the most important uh, uh, way forward to go with sustainability. I'm very proud of, uh, of His Highness uh, to be with us as a leader. And I can say he's the really green ambassador for UAE, uh, not only uh, for in economy or in, in um, knowledge ambassador, but as a green ambassador. This is it. This is what uh, Dr. Rashid have mentioned. We'll talk about it. Now, it's the sustainable development uh, issue or the uh, this the, uh, I can see uh, the concept, 
what the United Nations came because of some reasons. I will add to what, 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 to what uh, His Excellency have mentioned, some idea, uh, some knowledge, and we are here to learn. We have to learn from many people, I'm sure, they know about sustainable development, sustainability, but they don't know what, why, and for what reason we want to go sustainable in our all activities, in our you know, uh, you know, day to day life as well.